L here <laughs> to do your mid-September 2019 general reading. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Virgo. Two cards popped out. I don't know what they are, but I um, was prompted to take them, and then I just put this one down. I want to thank those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. I was not going to do Virgo's reading. There's not a lot of viewership for uh, Virgos on my channel, so yes, it you know the the videos do come a little bit later um, behind other signs, but I was prompted to do Virgos reading, so um, I am here, and I and I'm and I like Virgos. Like I have Virgo friends. We get along. We talk about everything under the sun, even the most weirdest uh of topics uh we, we have fun together they always are up for the party it's always a yes with them i don't have to worry about you know them being flighty or you know whatever anyway anyway me and virgos get along i used to have this virgo boyfriend a long time ago oh my gosh we we dealt with each other for years but we could sit on the phone and talk for hours even after years of knowing each other and knowing the ins and outs of each other so yeah virgos much love to you guys um really good people okay all right so what's going on oh, okay night of water somebody's in love or someone's romanticizing a situation there might be a new suitor either virgos going after someone or someone's after the virgo um there's the element of falling in love sometimes it's the element of romanticizing every new encounter every meeting going making plans in your heart in your in your head your emotions about what can happen what will happen um it's fun it could be fun right but um yeah you gotta ground that energy sometimes so people this sometimes this is a card of someone being in love with love you know also this is the card of emotional excuse me a creative uh abilities being heightened getting message from spirit being connected Let's see what's going on here eight of air uh it could be the first it could be what i just talked about firstly maybe someone is romanticizing a new encounter new meeting um Someone's falling in love. There might be, like, yeah, there's a need to balance out these emotions. You keep thinking about someone. They're the eight of air. This is Gemini. It, and you know, it doesn't have to be a Gemini. Um, yeah, trapped in that illusion of you may have daydreams about this person. Some of you may want to reach out to someone, but you, you're you trapped. Or someone may want to reach out to you. They're trapped in not taking action for whatever reason. The eighth governs sex and intimacy. Some of you are definitely fantasizing about you fill in the blank. Person from the past, person you're with, person you just met. Um several different persons i don't know let's see the four of air definitely this is you, like you you dream about them you think about them a lot when you're awake you dream about them you um you're trying to decide if you should take action you already have something established here. Maybe some type of other foundation established here. And you don't know if you should take action in regards to maybe a particular person, place, or thing. Let's see. Right, not a water, but this is like a dream come true. You feel like meeting this person. This is what you or who you felt like you were without for such a very long time or you have been without this person there is separation here there might have been a need to grow 
uh, mentally, spiritually. Could definitely be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be dealing with an Aquarius in love with you or you and them. Um, nine of water. Um, your wishes are definitely coming true here. Whatever the wishes are or were, they are, um, let's see. Wow, Ace of Water. You you think about, you dream about, you don't know how to come to particular person that maybe you fantasize about that maybe you even have past relationship with, but there is separation now. You want to come to them and have the, the highest level of happiness with them, a culmination of joy, contentment, um, emotional bliss with them, maybe a resurgence, or this is new love or new friendship. And once again, you're romanticizing the entire encounter. Uh, let's see. Three of five, yeah. Waiting for the opportunity. Trying to make some long-term plans. Or you, once again, you're back in your head making long-term plans in regards to maybe a fantasy person. Could be a real person, could be a crush, could be someone new, could be someone old, someone blue. No. Uh, um, could be a water sign, could be an air sign, could be a fire sign. Things are looking really good between the two of you, though. Um, if it's new, uh, if it's old, I feel like there is the element of separation. Uh, and then someone not knowing how to get back to. One card for Virgo and their feelings where they are. Five of Fire. Right, inner conflict, con conflicting opinion. Something about not knowing how to bring it together. Maybe even conflict with others. Conflict with others makes, makes you go into this fantasy. Uh, conflict... In a love affair, there might be some drama. There might be some someone who acts some childish behavior. Romance, once again. You have all of these different reservations about wanting to come to this person or them you and bring together the idea of having a really romantic encounter with them you can't figure out how to push this forward how to communicate you don't have the strength to do so either once again thinking about the sex the level of intimacy that you achieve with this person there's also an air of mystery you don't know what's going on with this person they don't know what's going on with you king of air so you could definitely be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Typically, this is Libra or Aquarius. Can be Gemini. This is a person, if you do come to them, please have all of your ducks in a row. Have rehearsed whatever it is you're going to say. Have a clear and concise plan. If apology is needed, start with that humble yourself this person will meet you right where you are once again you know speak your mind be confident they they will be please believe that um <clears throat> this is a person of a lot of skill and tact of a person who can put together words very well. A person who's very clear and they expect for you to be clear too. If you want to communicate with this person. Yeah, none of Earth under this. They're single or 
there's an element of separation here there is not you guys are not together there's still singlehood someone wants some newness with either you virgo or uh yeah newness with you Or you want newness with someone. What's the advice for Virgo here? Okay. Right? Wait. Wow. Forgiveness. Didn't we talk about that? And there is an apology that needs to be had. Said. Ask, ask for it. You're coming to the king of air. This is your person. This is a card I pulled for your person. It actually fell out on the floor. Um... very perceptive very perceptive very intuitive this is the king that's right under the emperor this is the king who wears the cloak of royalty wears the the purple robe this is the king who goes in between the spiritual and the physical uh very easily that's why he or she is able to make decision uh, be rational, logical, strategic, most times 10 steps ahead of because they have the heart and the mind so aligned here uh, in the 3D, in the physical realm. But then there's also an air of spirituality about them that they don't show everyone. Um, like I said, this king is going to meet you where you are. You come, you know, with a chip on your shoulder. You come with the ego. They'll just prop, they won't even, you know, stoop to that level. They'll probably just dismiss you, dismiss the conversation. Um, come with heart in hand is what I just heard. I don't know. Come with heart in hand, bro. It's humility. In the near future, meditation brings answers as the lays on the four of swords and listen to your own intuition. Okay. Um, let's see what this situation is in regards to. It looks like someone wants to come back around. It looks like there may be history. You got two nines here. You may have known someone nine or more years, nine months, nine weeks. Um you want to know what's the next what's the next level what's the next phase or you want to take things to the next level uh, or and and maybe they want to do so also oh jeez courage yeah some of you just you just don't know how to come back to this person maybe you messed up you mucked up so bad but you're coming to the king of air the one thing about this person is either it is or it isn't the one thing about this person is is either black or it's white it's never a gray area with this person so they're not going to fake the funk with you they're not going to accept your apology and tell you that we're going to run off into the sunset if that's not going to happen they're very tactful professional diplomatic if it's not happening between the two of you they say just that and they say it very calmly professionally tactfully they thank you for your apology and they ask that, you know, um, you know, they wish you well. And, and or and they tr maybe they'll try to maintain friendship. I don't know. Or you can get exactly what you, you hope and you wish for. For them to accept the apology, you guys to move on to some really happy times. Uh, emotions. Yeah, your emotions are all stirred with this person. It's a need for you to balance yourself. Um... Either someone feels this way about you or you that you want them to propose to you. You want marriage. You want love. You want moving in together. You want them to do things how you want them to do it in your fashion. Um, realizations and epiphanies coming to you with that Knight of Cups. Spiritual messages. Creative messages. You realize something about a particular person. A place or thing. And now... It is about 
uh, having that aha moment and now taking action. Uh, it says wait though. You do have the wait card, but have the courage. The, nothing's coming to those who are scared. End of an era, definitely. You got two nines, end of an era, most times it's ten. You want the ending of maybe bad things or you guys not coming together, the ten of wands, the ten of swords, um, feeling disappointed, discouraged, discarded. Um, you want all of that to end. You want newness. You want the Ten of Cups. You want the Ten of Pentacles with this person. You may even see this person as a soulmate. You realize a sense of usefulness, um, fitness, and health in this relationship, in this situation. And now you want to move forward. There might be, you got to be courageous about this. Uh, changing your mind. Yeah, changing your mind. Changing your mind maybe about your approach. Um, changing your mind yeah about okay about your approach listen to your intuition meditation is going to bring you answers get to a quiet place try to quiet your mind and, and try to ask yourself why am I feeling this way emotions what is pushing me what is driving me to mania to um, depression uh, what is driving me to anxiety um, what is the motivation? What is the drive behind? Okay. All right. So, Virgo, I hope that this reading gave you a bit of clarity about your situation. I hope that everything comes together for you. It looks really good. It's just that someone needs to be courageous, either you or the other person. There is an end to an era of maybe negativity, going into positivity. Only if you have the courage to do so. Humble yourself, your actions, and it looks like you can have exactly what you want. Thank you, Virgo. If you want to request your own personal reading, go over to my website. The link is below. Make sure you use the coupon code 10 off 35 It's $10 off any reading, $35 or more. Thank you once again. Take care. Many blessings to you. Bye.